How's it going guys? I got this 3D printer in the mail a couple days ago. I just haven't opened it yet. Um, this is a King Rune from Amazon. Um, and I found some of the same ones actually in other places online. But this is 3D printer number six for me. I have a 3D printing business. Um, I just sell stuff on eBay and Etsy and um, Amazon and then my own little website that I have as well. Um, but this is, I do already have a King Rune 3D printer. This is the KP3, I think is what they call it. Um, that's the model number. And I just want to do a quick unboxing video to show you all what's inside. So let's get to it. <clears throat> and I haven't done very many unboxing videos before, so sorry if it's kind of difficult to see, but... Just trying to make it as good as I can. I just put some tape on there myself for uh, to block my address. There we go. I got this one on sale actually on Amazon. It was 20 bucks off. So I think I got it for 150 something. So there we are. First look inside the box. I think I mentioned I already have one of these King Runes. Um, and it's done really well for me. I... Uh, I've put it through a lot of a lot of stress. I've printed um, a lot of materials on it. Uh, PET G or P P G or P E T G, however you want to say it. I've done ABS, PLA, all different colors. I've put hundreds and hundreds of hours into it, um, and it's done really well. It's still performing. It needs a little tune-up once in a while, but it's not bad, and it's extremely easy to set up. So there's just the instruction manual, and it's it's uh, helpful to figure out how to set it up for the first time. So there's that, and here, oh nice, the bright blue color um, PLA filament. So they just give you a tiny bit of filament just for testing purposes. Here's some tools, and let's see, looks like a bunch of stuff is different colors from the first one that I got. So you'll need these to assemble, to uh, just assemble it. I think there's three or four screws you have to put together, and then you get this, um, it's a micro SD card, 16 gig, I think, uh, with an adapter, and that has some files and the software on it for you. It also includes this, um, some wire clippers, not wire clippers, <laughs> some filament clippers. It's for uh, basically just, I, at least I use it to um, clip the end of the filament so it'll go into it easily. And then a wire in case you want to print or do whatever from a computer. Um, with that kind of connection. This is just an extra um, tube for the extruder. The, uh, and then right here we have some, just some more spare parts. That's a nozzle and some bolts and, and nuts. And a, looks like that's a thermometer. I think is, I don't know what you actually call it. If, there, if it's called something different for 3D printers, but um, it measures the temperature in the hot end. So here we go. Got some styrofoam. What is this? Wow, that's very different from my last one. The other one is just a little bit of a different design. This is a filament spool holder. Nice. It says filament holder right there. So I'll show you in a different video how it works, but basically you just, it sits like this and you have your, I've actually wanted to make some of these myself. Um, I just didn't have any uh, ball bearings, but there's that. So it the filament spool sits on here and then it rolls as the filament is pulled from the printer. So that's really nice. Looks like we got a just a power cable, which will go to uh, plugs in right here in the um, the power supply unit. It just goes right there and that turns on and this plugs into the side of the printer itself. So let's get that out now. Got a little more styrofoam here. <clears throat> Chuck it over there. This is, um, it just shows you how to do the auto leveling feature. I guess it's not entirely automatic, but it's uh, really helpful because I've done it entirely manually and that's not super fun. So this paper is helpful because it says probably somewhere, oh yeah, the distance can be measured by the paper of 0.1 millimeter thickness like this one. So this is kind of a thicker, almost cardstock piece of paper. So you'll want to keep that for leveling. It helps, it helps with that. And there is the brand new printer. And I guess I'll just, just turn it a little bit. 
Um, let's see, let's take out the top first. So this comes in two main parts. There we go. That's nice and shiny and new, wow. I haven't seen mine that new in, well, I guess since I got it. Looks like we got a couple of loose nuts in here. So now I got that one kind of out. I'll set that back down carefully and get this piece loose. It's in here nice and tight. Okay, there we go. I'll pick both of those up. Sit them down over here. Push that out of the way. There we go. Well, I wasn't sure if this was going to happen this time as it did last time. Um, where I just had a few extra uh, nuts and screws sitting around in the package. Not quite sure how that happens, but you know, whatever. It works perfectly fine, and I guess this this fell off um, from the leveling thing. I'll go ahead and push this out here, and uh, it just screws back on right here. So that's not bad either. But that's basically it. And the way this will be assembled, I'll make a different video for that, is that basically you want, let's see here, you'll want it to be this way, if you can see that fine. Like I said, sorry if it's difficult to see. I don't have a very great setup right here, but so it'll be that way with this, um, the extruder that moves back and forth in the X direction facing forward, and it will be installed just like that. And that's what it'll look like. So make sure you uh, check for my other video about how to actually assemble this. Like I said, it's pretty easy. It's just a few screws that you put together. I think there's four of them. So you might not even need help with that. But there's that. And uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hopefully it was kind of helpful just to see what's inside the package. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this. If you get this same model, I'd like to hear what you think about it. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button further videos about how to make money with 3D printing and hit the like button if you don't mind it also helps out so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one